Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I came to set fire to the earth, and surely I wish it were already on fire. I am going to put to a hard test and I will have to suffer a lot of pain until it is over. Do you think that I came to bring peace? No, indeed. I came to make people choose sides. A family of five will be divided with two of them against the other three. Fathers and sons will turn against one another. Mothers and daughters will do the same. Mothers-in-law and daughters-in-law will also turn against each other. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, now that Gospel sounds harsh, doesn't it? Jesus came to set fire. But he doesn't mean fire like fire in flames, like later on we'll light the candles and, and that kind of fire. No, he's talking about the fire of love of God. Okay? Now, Every day, we have a choice to make. We wake up in the morning. That's not a choice. We wake up in the morning. We could say our prayers. Okay, that's a choice. And then we go to breakfast. We wash, get dressed, and go to breakfast. And how we act at breakfast is our choice. And Jesus is saying, I am coming to split you up. Not the good guys against the bad guys, but the people who love Jesus against the people who don't love Jesus. And everyone who loves Jesus will be turned on, in his words, by the fire of love. So how many would like to have the fire of God's love in their hearts? Raise your hand. Would you? Yes. Okay. Why? The fire of God's love choosing peace and justice and goodness. So, when you get up from breakfast and you go about your day, you have a choice to be one of Jesus' followers, right? Or not. Now, sometimes we get nasty. Sometimes we get greedy. Sometimes, and I think I heard this, some people steal. Anybody ever hear that here? Anybody steal here? Nobody, nobody in this church. Okay. But, no, that's good. Because those who, who are bad, who do bad things, even though God loves us and we're all called to be good people, we do bad things sometimes. And if we do bad things, we're against, against Jesus. So how about we say together to Jesus, Jesus, teach me every day to be on your side. The side of love, the side of fire, the fire of goodness. Okay, so as we follow the fire that Jesus is coming to give us, we have to think, how else can I really stand out? One, what we're doing today. We're coming to pray. And when we come to pray, we are separating ourselves from people who choose not to pray. And we pray for them, besides, right? Like, who are the people you prayed for at the beginning of Mass? Who do we pray for? Pray for our families, for our friends, for people in the cottages, and all of our, right, calling all of our special intentions, we call them. And that's, a, yes. And we pray for the people in heaven, and we pray, you know, we have to pray for too, and you see, yes. Good. And we pray for the people in the cottages. That's really important. And we also need to pray for our families and friends that we don't know who are in different parts of the world who are suffering because they're Christians. Okay? Yes. Right. And we have to all be careful of the bears. That's true. Okay. That's very important. So we act now. So how do we do? We take care of one another. We walk together. We help each, each other in the cottages. We don't push each other. We, we, we want to stand out 
like God's people. We want to stand out as Jesus' people. We want to stand out as people who love God so much that we're going to show others what it means to love God. Okay? So, warning if there are, of course, we have a lot of grass here, a lot of trees, a lot of woods. You see bears, what do you do? You just tell your friends, let's go inside really carefully and be, right, and, right, and be, sh yes, and you want to shelter each other from anything that's dangerous. Okay, right. So how about we say together, Father in heaven, teach me every day to be on the side of Jesus, loving, forgiving, and praying. Okay, so as we gather now and prepare ourselves for Holy Communion, Jesus comes to us in the Holy Sacrament of Communion and gives us the strength to be his followers, to be on fire, as he says, with his love of one another. That's always important. We don't keep Jesus inside, we share Jesus, right? You sh absolutely. And we share Jesus by love and by prayer and by being polite. Really, really important. Okay? Okay. And when the aides in the, in the cottages help us, what do we say? Thank you. What do we say? Thank you. And when they... You, very good. See, that's important. Okay. Okay, so let's close our thoughts today with one word, and the word is Jesus. How about we all say the word together? Jesus. Let me hear you say it. Okay, and Jesus be with us as we carry out our days today, until next Sunday, and every day until you come back in glory. Okay? And God bless all of us. Okay, so we'll sing happy birthday for her next Sunday.